Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got the pop of girls with me. Hey. <laughs> Ife Omai <laughs> and Nimi De Kombi. Hey guys. I'm glad that name has stuck. You mm. what? I'm glad that name has stuck. Mm, for for you too. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> and we're wearing blue. Uh, yeah. And this is kind of green. So, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it is. So, what is she? Bo bo bubbles. bubbles. Wow. Um, you are. I've forgotten about this girl. Buttercup? Buttercup and Blossom. Yeah. Oh, bubbles. <laughs> Give me a moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Actor Tom Hanks um, says he and his wife, actress Rita Wilson, um, test positive to coronavirus in Australia. In a statement posted to his Instagram page, Hanks said he and his wife were traveling in Australia when they were tested after exhibiting symptoms like tiredness, body aches, chills, and slight fevers. Um, he said the medical officials have protocols that must be followed. <sighs> I'm so scared for yeah, him. Yeah, it is scary because yeah, he's is scary. not a young yeah. man. He in falls in the age of those who can who yeah. are seriously affected yeah. by the mm -hmm. coronavirus. Yeah. So it is very, very worrying. And um I like the fact that um he is already is aware and he's trying everything because he said that they are going to be quarantined. He's mm -hmm. doing everything possible because he was in the middle of shooting a movie. But he decided that, you know what, instead of spreading this virus oh further, let me... Because there are some people who know that they are sick and still go around, you know, going out, doing their normal and activities. And in the wake of coronavirus, to be, to be highly responsible yeah. mm -hmm. for anyone to yeah, do that. to be honest. Yeah. So I'm glad that he is taking the necessary action yeah. that he's supposed to take. And I hope... I pray hmm. that he recovers from this because he we are not ready at all. <laughs> to lose him. That's another ten, 20 years even yes. for Tom Hanks to not be too much to ask for. I'm glad he did that. I'm glad he called out, um, well, called himself out and did the right yeah. thing. It reminded me of the, I don't know if you guys heard about the doctor that was sick, running nose, and he was treating people, 70 yeah. patients. He had contacted 70 patients. And then before he came out to say that he, he, was he was sick and he was coming from Italy. So it's not like, I wouldn't say that he was ignorant. I think it was a deliberate act. Yeah. Um, so it, it speaks a lot of on his on Tom Hanks' character. I'm also glad he's sharing this with the world. Mm. I, I, I love Tom Hanks, but I'm glad he, is a, he used himself as an example. I think for a long time, people didn't really see how coronavirus was effective because we saw numbers, you know, 5,000 people in China, 1,000 people in this, 1,000 people. When you not say Tom Hanks, it's like it stops being a number and starts yeah. being your people. favorite, like your people. Yeah. And then his wife as well. So it's, it's so real. Um, I saw comments saying that why are we all now just waking up? That's just the reality of things that sometimes we need yeah. a face to something before yeah. it can really hit us. So I'm hoping, I'm not waiting for some news headline to say we found a vaccine or, you know, I'm waiting for that. Like, something has to happen. Well, um, other than the likelihood of chloroquine doing something, not mm -hmm. entirely doing the job, that's the only yeah. little hope that yeah. we can say um, has been available. But I really hope that he gets better yeah. because we cannot start speaking the English or telling the story, oh, mm -hmm. he contacted coronavirus yeah. and then, nah, it's not going to happen. So mm -hmm. I, I want to believe that he will get better. And it's not just him now. There are other footballers yeah, like well known, yeah, who have contracted, contracted this, and um, <coughs> um, the NBA. Oh, really? the, yeah. Sneezing yeah. the coronavirus. Yeah, because <laughs> the NBA, <laughs> the NBA season like, mm. has been cancelled. You yeah. know, I mean, it is it is serious. Yeah, like, and also serious. the WHO has declared coronavirus as a pandemic, yeah. which I feel like it should. Which is why I said that. You know what? You no. Know, the last time I was in this table, we were having this conversation and we we're like, why is it that Nigerians are taking the coronavirus so seriously mm. when there's Lassa fever and all of that? And I think the reason, once again, is because of the rates at which, you it's know, spreading. coronavirus has spread. Because when you look at the rates from January till now, it has it has yeah. skyrocketed. Before in January, we had like 580 cases. Now mm. we have all, close to 100,000 yeah. cases. So the rate at which the coronavirus is spreading is very, very scary. And looking at Nigeria, Nigeria is a populous nation. Lagos is a very, very... <laughs> Lagos is like overcrowded. Yeah. So if one person has this virus, there's a huge chance that it's going to be transmitted easily. Um, Lassa fever is transmitted by rats. You can prevent that. Yeah. But coronavirus is harder for you to prevent. Well, you cannot because... compare the mortality rates. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, yes. It's the mortality, <laughs> yes. rate. It's the mortality <laughs> rate in Nigeria. 
-hmm. that you okay. cannot compare True. because when you compare the mortality rate in Nigeria and the mortality rate globally, but it's our problem that we are focusing on now. Right. Like <laughs> our problem is the one that is actually killing right now. I get what you're yeah. saying. I mean, nobody's going to downplay this or say it is not a serious issue, but as it relates to us here and mm -hmm. right now. I still can say coronavirus is not as serious as Lassa fever in Nigeria. Of but course. it is shutting down economies. Yeah, like but Italy it, has shut down. Yeah, you know, I a think lot. what will happen. It, it what feels like with... it's like the end of the world because you know airlines are shutting down operations. So many things are being affected. All prices are being affected. Yeah. So the coronavirus is a huge issue because it's not just affecting you know like people. It's affecting going out. Some of the things that we do normally, going on the bus, yeah, meeting people, going for meetings. All of those things, you can transmit the virus. Yeah. So we have to put a stop to those things. So it's also affecting the economy. So Lassa fever is. It has a higher mortality rate, but the rate of transmission can still be curbed. It can still be reduced. Right. So that's why I feel like this. I think the re I have to lean on with what else he's saying here because on a global scale, it is a big problem. Mm -hmm. But for Lagos today, as of the 12th of March, it's not a big problem. Um, and if it, I feel like it, it is very likely to become one because when I look at Italy and I look at Lagos, the similarities are very, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, very clear in terms of. Uh, one particular city being really populated. Yeah. I'm also very touchy feely people. Exactly. We we talk we touch each other. We don't understand lots. space. And we're not lots. also very educated. Mm -hmm. There's already a, an idea going on that black people don't have coronavirus or yeah. that black people which is yeah, an absolute lie. Yeah, <laughs> that we they have they have um, many cases of, of of black people in the fat um, fatality rate of people who have died. Um, the only thing that we're seeing now is that the weather has a contribution to that, but it's still quite high in Brazil. Yeah. So so it's not, we're not asking what type of sun because it's one in, in Brazil. So let's just be careful. The idea that we're any safer or something yeah. isn't happening is, is a lie. My only thing, is, like I said last yesterday, I'm very scared of using this platform to say that is because I don't think that we've actually gotten the case yet. Mm. And that's where I'm going to come that's from. That's my our personal bias. Yes, Pers personal bias. Personal. Because I think if it really does come, I don't see how we are capable of, of taming it so well. We tamed the Ebola virus, though. Mm -hmm. Come on, give us okay. some accolades. I think this is the time okay. we need to just re-echo the steps everyone should yes. take. Yes. So, Please. wash your hands for the minimum of 20, 20 seconds. seconds. In between your fingers, yeah, your you know, elbow, and if you are hand sick, washing. please stay at home. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a fever or you have also any Also, use the hand yeah, sanitizer. Yeah. And when you're sneezing or coughing, like you just did on this table, <laughs> please cough into your elbow or yeah. make sure you contain the... Things flying out of your mouth, basically, yeah. and um, what else? I think you should also like um, up your diet to anything that's immune boosting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just got those vitamins that you put into your water, just mm -hmm. to keep or your have more fruits. Yeah, just have, have your immune vegetables. like even more, like almost like you're ready for a battle, even mm -hmm. if even if it hasn't come yet. And if you're an older person, then you have to put more measures in in place to do that. But for young yeah. people, hygiene, wash as often as possible. Yeah. Every time you touch a doorknob, just wash, just be Sanitize, washing. Sanitize, yeah, and don't touch yeah. your face. And then also the hand sanitizer has to have at least sixty percent alcohol in it to really do the work. So don't get a cheap. One. Yeah, and yeah. also wash your hands regularly. Yeah. I joked thing. by saying some people can just wash their hands with alcohol, but that's <laughs> what say. All right, moving on to the next story. Um, the former girlfriend of Floyd Mayweather and the mother of his three children was found dead in her car outside her home in California. Um, the coroner's office is yet to release a cause of death for her. Mm. Yeah. This is another sad one. It yeah, is. It is yeah. sad because she, had, she actually had a 20 million dollar lawsuit against Floyd Mayweather and she for died. defamation. Yeah, for defamation. And she died in the middle of that. Although, you know, the coroner has not really told us what exactly happened. But right. they have ruled out homicide. Right. So they are just doing a death investigation. So we don't really know a lot about the details of her mm. death. But even though I still feel it's sad. Yeah. Because I don't think it was like a death that anybody was expecting. There's, right. been, there's been no conversation of maybe she was sick, yeah. maybe she had a fatal illness or anything like that. So well, I, I just think this investigation that, will then bring all that yeah. to light because even if she was sick or had any illness, we would not it, know no, because yeah. the yeah, she says she's not really the yeah, center of the media. Yeah, but friends have been coming out attention. to say stuff. I mean, I think if she was sick, her friends would have said, said something. Yeah, it looks like it's hitting them yeah, like a surprise. Yeah, I think my, my, my issue, not issue, but just like a is why he hasn't released anything yeah. on social media um 
he's not the type that wants to claim he doesn't talk on social media or he's a private person or whatever. Mm-hmm. So um, obviously there is beef between, between them, them, but this is no, death, you know. Dead. I don't think yeah. and she is the mother I, this of is, three of these children. I know he speaks a lot on social media, but yes. this is death. Mm. And whether they had a rift or a lawsuit going on, this mm-hmm. is death close to you. I mean, yes. she's the mother of your children. Mm-hmm. So if you fight, a long time. If you yeah. fight from thy kingdom come to thy kingdom come, there's still a bond and it's never going to go away. So let's just say he's processing it. This just mm-hmm. happened. Maybe this yeah. is I mean, a reaction. He, yeah. will, he will definitely put out something. We cannot tell him how soon or of when course. to put yeah. it out. So or how to react just, to our death. Yeah, yeah, we don't know what's going on right now. But I mean, you bringing up the fact that there is already a lawsuit going yeah. on. There are people who want to spin um, the whole conversation to say maybe he maybe has something. He has so there's a idea. lot he has to process right now. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm sure that the law enforcement agencies will definitely carry out the investigation because I feel like this is not just normal. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I, it's just my feeling. I feel like something is up, but yeah. whatever it is, at, at least if the corona comes back to say, okay, it's natural, then nothing. well, we can breathe out. But for yeah. now, Maybe we keep our fingers, yeah, we keep be. our fingers okay. crossed to know what the results will be. It's time for a quick break. When we return, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Harvey Weinstein sent his sentence to 23 years in prison after rape and um, sexual assault convictions. Judge James Buck sentenced him to 20 years in prison for criminal sexual assault and three years in prison for rape. The sentences will run consecutively and both come with five years of supervision after release and Weinstein um, must register as a sex offender. Justice <laughs> prevails. <laughs> Justice prevails. Mm. I think this is one of the biggest achievements of the Me Too era. Of course. <laughs> because, you know, the whole Me Too conversation even started with Avi Weinstein at yeah. the forefront. And I know one of, the, one of the peculiar things about this case is the fact that during the Me Too era, yeah, Avi Weinstein was like the biggest fish in the net. And then he felt like the, his conviction was taking forever mm. to process. And a lot of people, you know, started the conversation of, oh, if he was a black man, mm. he would have gotten this jail time, blah, 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 blah. I'm glad that finally we can put that to yeah. rest and yeah. say that now a rapist has gotten the conviction. And finally, that I think I would deserves. want to say that it took this long because he had yeah. good lawyers that were actually doing their job. I, yeah. don't, I don't think it's just about, is anything it's, about him? Being he's, black he's, or white, oh yeah, he just had race. awesome attorneys. And, he had his money, he and had even power. till the end, they were still saying um, he needs to have five years because he's old. Mm-hmm. And then if you give him anything more than that, he stands him out to life in jail. I mean, they were playing all their cards, right? Well, I'm yes. glad that he got the time that he deserved. And this is huge. I think it, it is a very good um, notion to start for yeah. other people who are there. Men are getting scared. And you yes. should be scared. They should be. You, you should be scared. Behavior. Why are you scared that a rapist is getting jailed? Years. And he's, are he's, you a rapist? He, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Why are you scared? Say, now we can't really behave. I'm like, ah, if you I'm are like, worried yes. about your behavior, then you've been doing something wrong. Then you've been wrong. doing something wrong. Mm. If you are worried that you can't touch people in a certain way, you've been you've doing been something wrong. I'm not afraid. Why am I afraid? Am I touching people? <laughs> am I groping men's legs and, no. you know, fiddling with them? So I'm not afraid. So the fact that you are having fear is fantastic. Yes, as a feminist, that's what we are trying to get. Instill that fear in you because I want to say, if you're vulnerable, it's an English <laughs> You don't want to listen. So, this is the only way to be able to set that 
promotion. Mm -hmm. We're coming for you, all of you in power that are molesting women because this 25, 23 years, yes, we're sharing. It has not, it, it takes, it doesn't even affect the, the victim in yeah, any way. It doesn't exactly. solve the problem that you, the pain that you're inflicting on these people. So get ready because now the world is, is <clears throat> the world can see what you're doing and we have set yeah. emotion. Um, um, they are coming. Justice, so we're coming for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think that this also changes the conversation around sexual abuse yes. and victims because, you know, for a very long time, the question, when it comes to victims, they've been questioned. People always question the validity of their claims. People always harass them. You know, we've seen this over and over and over again. You've seen the card of, um, um, I mean, you, you became famous. So You become famous through accusing somebody powerful. Yeah. So I am happy. And I hope that this will be an example yeah. for these powerful people yeah. in media, not the, just in the yeah. U.S., the bringing only, it down to Nigeria. The only thing I would like to say, the only thing that we might contradict this, our, our fights, mm. is that in the same breath, we need to be super careful just as much as we want to get these rapists. We also want to make sure we can quickly sieve out the people that people are going that, to clout chase on this. Mm -hmm. People that are going to come and accuse innocent men yeah. mm -hmm. of doing things that That's they haven't done. Important. The people that are enjoying it and then after we're saying they did not people enjoy that it. People that are liars. People that are putting people that men into trouble. People that girlfriend and Thank the girlfriend you. did not happen. And All those things. We need to be able to fish them out. And that's why for people, and I, I, it's, I'm not going to profess anything bad, but it, it, it is going to happen. If you're going to be raped tomorrow, there's somebody out there that's going to be, someone that just got raped now. Yeah, get, somebody get, going to be raped. Make your action really quickly. As soon as it happens, and I know it's hard, it's and hard. I know it's such a responsibility and it shouldn't have happened, but if you want to get justice, try your best because now we're not just coming out in vain anymore mm -hmm. you can actually get you know these people down but the, the the first thing you need to do is get to someone asap yeah so that we can gather evidence yeah yeah and also i just want to say bringing that, this down to nigeria because in nigeria we still have a huge rape culture right. we still have the amount of cases you know of rape where people are actually sentenced is very, very, very inconsequential. In fact, most of the time, a lot of rapists just get away with whatever, you know, the crime that they commit. So I hope that this conversation can be started in Nigeria because at the end of the day, this happened in the US. Yeah. So the conversation also, of rape is still very, yeah, very, very sketchy even in Nigeria. the constitution and what the punishment really is, is quite annoying. And mm -hmm. even going back to Harvey, the, he got three years for rape. Yeah. yeah. So it's I think that, that makes still. me worried. Like why? So if the other things were not there, all he was going yeah. to get was three, three years, three years, years for yeah. raping somebody. So I think that should be revisited, mm -hmm. and of course, bringing it back to Nigeria, like you said, our own is even worse. Our own is way worse. Because there are that a lot of underreported mm -hmm. rape we cases. Look at Asu. Asu, 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 Asu people were telling us to keep quiet about the that, whole, uh, Asu whole body. A whole body was saying, "No, yeah. we like it that way." There's other issues that we need to deal with when we're talking about sex for crime, mm -hmm. um, sex for grades, sex for grades bill. They said, "No, no, 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 no." That's not issue so, so when we, we bring about? when we bring this conversation to nigeria the conversation changes entirely in, in you know in america they've had the me too moment for a very very long time yeah. in nigeria it's like women are just finding their voices i mean we still have um koza and we have I've had a few cases and where i mean it hasn't still, come out with anything but yeah, i think exactly. we are we, I, I cannot, we are progressing yeah, yeah, actually yeah. i think we're a on the journey we started, yeah. that are doing this actively so once you yeah. walk into that place i'm trying to remember what now but the name is not coming Stand there's somewhere yeah, it's yeah, yeah stand to end rape, and yeah. there's one around Yaba that mm -hmm. actually takes it up from getting you tested to getting you a lawyer to yeah. making sure, making sure that, that, that you these people get psychological get help and all yeah. that. So there are a lot of them actually doing the job. What's we just is? need more government um, support. support and better policies put in place to ensure to that these people this. get the time yeah. that they deserve. But okay. like I said, this is yeah, good it's news. Good. It is it's good. It's a Moving on, most rich kids don't feel they need to work hard. This is coming from Davido. Mm. Well, like you said yesterday, those who wear the shoes can understand where it pinch. And since mm -hmm. he rolls with the rich kids, they will know if they're lazy or they're yeah. willing to work. But I think you don't even need to be a David before you know, which is why when you see a son of a rich person actually putting in extra work beyond having to fall back on their parents', parents wealth, money. you kind of feel like, oh, wow, this is yeah. responsible. But it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be normal for everybody yeah. to want to work to get it. So, but the fact that we have that reservation when we see a rich kid putting in the work, then we know Davido is yeah. not necessarily lying. Yeah. yeah. I, I've seen a lot of rich kids in music, in fashion, and this and this and that, and they haven't done well. The truth of the matter is that there's only so much your money can you take you. Mm -hmm. It can open the door, and that's huge. That, yeah, some, that's for some people, very... is only thing that they need, but yes. it's not what keeps you there. Yeah, true. Um, um, David Doe, DJ Copy are the two people that I know that 
uh, vocal about their wealth and also vocal about their hard work. Mm -hmm. um, I've known DJ Copy for a long time, steady in, this, in, in doing her work. And, you know, she, she wasn't the type of person to stay for granted. I wouldn't even say the same thing for her younger sister. No offense. Yeah. Um, so I can tell when there's a rich person that's working, that's working extra hard. hard. Working harder than somebody that doesn't even have the money. Mm -hmm. So that ideology that, you know, because you have money, it's just a blame ta tactics. And for, for me, I always try to catch my, stop myself from doing that when I catch myself because I feel like that mindset is probably why I'm not rich because <laughs> I have not worked as hard. So instead of blaming someone or finding excuses as to why... Or looking at Yeah, yeah. finding excuses as to why I'm not like that. I figure out what are they doing that I'm not doing? Am I sleeping? Sleeping nine hours, yes. Is Davido sleeping? Nah, I don't think so. So there's a difference between like the work that each person is putting and so for Davido, are, I appreciate it. What number of um, mm -hmm. sleep would you recommend? <laughs> it's not about the sleep. <laughs> Motivational <laughs> speaker. I just sleep say, well, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, he works hard and he has to have deprived himself for sleep at some point. He must mm -hmm. have deprived himself from social. We all he must do, have sacrificed all do. something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, basically, I would say that, well, it is true that there are rich kids who work hard. We cannot deny the presence of privilege. Of course. Like you said, that open door is more than enough. Yeah. Because the truth is, for instance, if I'm the child of a rich person, if I decide to open a fashion house now, the quality of customers or clients that I would get would definitely not be the same as somebody who is equally talented yeah. and who probably but what she's will set up a shop somewhere else. For you to keep else. those clients. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. For you to make them want to come. You definitely. do a grand you launch. Have to, you, have you have to have, have your ten dollars, their yes, new guys. Exactly. You know, but for them to want to come back to you, then you have to of give them you have something to, you have to special. Have that's hard work. You have to have talent and you have to mm -hmm. be hard working. But I'm just saying that I the conversation you. of privilege cannot be... But I don't be. think they video He's not saying, trying to take the yeah, conversation of and privilege. And I feel like that's why I'm supporting him. He's not saying that, oh, being rich hasn't... Even in the same interview, he mentioned that he cannot his dad deny has done a lot that his for father him. has, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the world, but we don't have equal fingers. He's rich, he'll always be rich. He has privilege that we would, some of us might never have. That's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. But are we talking about his hard work and his success and if he deserves that? And I hope I you know so. there yes, are actually rich does. kids in the music industry that are not close to David Of course, definitely. He's of had course. His he's, no, I'm not even. I'm not even undermining. You just want us to put you know, privilege on the table. I'm not, I'm not undermining. Just put it out I'm just there. making. Know. I'm, I'm just we making know. us know that there is a very huge yeah, advantage and she of, us as well. of we privilege. Did. So yeah. Okay. Are you happy? I'm happy. That I've said that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's how we wrap up this episode of Sea Time. Thank you for watching and do visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa to catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content. You can also watch Sea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my Power Puff Girls, <laughs> Ife Omai and Nimi Dekombi and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Sea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.